Hey guys, what's going on? It's Luke here, aka XRJH Productions, and welcome to part 8 of the GTA San Andreas walkthrough. Uh, so, just to talk a little bit about the audio, guys. For some reason, it's pretty quiet, and I'm not quite sure why, so I'm going to try and raise that uh, in the video itself. Uh, but nevertheless, we have a look at Rider Mission here, which isn't available this time, so I realise now it's between 12 and 8. So, now we've just got to find a car, really, and. Uh, yeah, I think the audio is alright, I'm not completely sure. Uh, it seems to be alright. But uh, it probably won't affect as you're watching it. Yeah, as soon as we rob this car right here and we go to the mission with Big Smoke, I think. Yeah, it's quite a long one. It's between a gang chase and uh, something. I forgot what the mission was called, so you'll see it on screen in a minute. Uh, so we're coming up to the mission right now, actually. Yes, there's a cutscene right here. Here's the cake. Combine the double up. Hey, CJ. Baby, what's up, man? What's happening, Smoke? Chillin'. Wanna go for a ride? Yeah. You drive. Alright. We going downtown. So this one's quite interesting, actually. If you can't remember what it is, uh, it's basically quite a long chase. And you do the shooting this time. You don't drive. Um, yeah, it's a bit different from the uh, casual missions. Uh, but it's quite good actually, I quite enjoy playing it. So, um, yeah. It's quite a good little mission. But I ain't never even met. Then the wall comes down and we all supposed to. Look, Cole, before I walk in there, I just need to know you down with this shit, man. Look, Smoke, we go way back. We grows, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's my dog. Hey, look, if you hear shit start to pop off, come in here blasting, all right? I'm down, dog. Hey, baby. Phone company? Motherfuckers! CJ, get in here! Oh, there you are. So, yeah, it's this one, basically. Just gotta take these out. It helps me, basically. So, get an SMG this level. Uh, it's pretty easy. Aim have I have a bit of troubles with the aim and a bit later on, but right now it's pretty it's pretty good. Uh, but I do have a bit of bad luck with uh, San Andreas actually. See right there, it's quite annoying. You wouldn't lock on to him, so let's get a bit closer. Even more closer, which is quite annoying. Taking the money. But we've done this little part, you know. Get really unlucky because. I was about to go to the safe house to save it after this mission, and my Xbox froze. So I think I might have to do this part again, but it's not, it's not too bad because I got it on record. Uh, so at least we got this part done anyway. I have some really bad aiming trouble here, and uh, it ends up me having to use manual aim in front of one, which doesn't even affect it, and it looks like I'm really bad at aiming because this invert look, which I'm not used to at all. So yeah, it's a bit really annoying. Right here, that guy there. That's proper aiming. You see, my aim is terrible on this. Kind of game there, but that doesn't do anything. So we have to get real closer. Uh, which isn't seen that bad. We only got two bullets the SMG left. Then we have to use the pistol. So that's that done basically, it's not too bad, my aiming looks really bad though. But that's because of invert aim, which you might be able to change and not really looks into it. Yeah, so this is um, basically the rest of the mission, is basically just shooting the enemies uh, while big smoke. Drives basically. 
And uh, it's really quite easy. Uh, aiming ain't too bad now, I'm getting a bit more used to it. So random little jumps and uh, it's a bit of fun. And it's not too bad of a mission, so uh, it's all a bit of a bonus. Um, but yeah, that's all that is in this part actually, just this mission, guys. I didn't bother with another one because I thought eight minutes is is not too bad for a part, so it should be all right. So here we go into this part right here, and uh, basically kind of the mission. Uh, a bit more on the road, I think, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, we've got to take these out here. Uh, luckily, my PVR don't cut out this one actually, so it's alright. Uh, this part looks quite good actually, even though it lands perfectly, but so that's just a game. Have a go at shooting the truck, but I realised that there's loads of motorcycles and cars coming up. Motorbikes. So that crashes them out. Cars unharmed though, so. Uh, so, uh, have a go at shooting these cars because it might destroy the actual truck itself, which it doesn't. But it's always worth a go. So we take these out. That car just destroys. And that looks like the one on top of the truck. Well, one of them. Best thing in this is you get unlimited ammo, so you can just shoot and shoot and help. Big smoke. So this one's easy to do. That guy up there. Have a go at him. I don't think it works though. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. I realize we're getting tailed by him. Just didn't realize. Until just look at the bike health. Weren't even noticing that when I was doing the mission. So. uh yeah, I thought it cut out there actually, but it don't. It's just part of the cutscene. Go up here, nice little getaway. They all destroy, and uh, we carry on basically. There's a bit more to do though, and then that's uh, basically the mission done. I realise there's um, uh, flammable barrels to help us, so that's always good. So that's basically the mission done. That's it. Man, we better split up. I'll take it another block and dump it. Man, that was some crazy shit back there. Yeah, for sure. Listen, we can't hang around here. I'll see you later, homie. Much love, baby. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's basically been part eight, I think it is. Just double check that. Yeah, it's been part eight, something like that. But yeah, it's been part eight, and uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you guys later.